Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review. Going to do a cloud water beer and I'm going to continue with the sours that I'm doing. This, this is the third sour of the evening, that's the last one of the evening as well. This is <coughs> cloud water as I say, <coughs> and this is the, a name for everything. This is 7.4% ABV, it says so there. Canned on the 30th of the 12th, 19. Precious by the 31st of May 20. And best before the 30th of June 20. It says so all there. <coughs> and there's the price from the Mighty Barton's in Ashton Makerfield. So, I'm just invade it a little bit because the last couple of ones I've had, they've had some a little touches of sediment in so I just want to kind of get that mixed through so let's pop it up let's see what we've got put the rest in shortly so beer in a glass what have we got dirty Copper coloured beer, hazy, two fingers of ivory coloured head, sponge like on this side with the old bubbles. No floaters that I can see so far. Looks interesting. Let's get a nose so we can smell. And sometimes when there's those passion fruits in this beer, because it does say on the back. Sometimes I have I, I, some difficulty picking passion fruits out in a, in a drink, but this one, it's all over it. Oh, nice. A little bit of, possibly a little bit of citrus fruit in there as well. Anyway, body and carb. Medium bodies, oily, carbonation is short. Vigorous, like a bit like a sherbet. Um, you know, when you get sherbet in your mouth, it just kind of fizzes a little bit. That's what we've got. So, <coughs> for a big old taste. Oh, oh, that's Baba Tart. Wow. What's tart in a great way, in a good way. It's passion fruit. Sharp, tart, passion fruit. Uh, probably lemon in there, it's probably oranges in there. <coughs> but it's mostly that. Most of the passion fruit. There's a bit of, a little bit of funkiness to it, which is quite good. A little touch of, there's a suggestion of sugar, suggestion of sweet. The top sets it lovely. Seven point four. Oh, Seven point four. You can't get that at all. Which is just tart that you get. It's probably about my limit for sharpness. To be fair, I say it is making me pull stupid faces. I don't mean to, <coughs> but that is just how this is making me go. Um. Yeah, anything higher than this in, in the acidity range, I would be able to go with it. It's nice. It's better than the North Brewing Company one than the North Brew Co. Co. Both North Brewing Co. that I did before the sour IPA. This is a proper good sour, and it's sour with fruit, and not with sort of citric acid added to it or anything. But the problem is, now I've said that. Again, a nice summer evening drink after a heavy meal. This would be quite nice after a big steak. This would probably be really good. It has the fizzy shaver feeling to it, which is which is good. It's fun. 
And again, this is just, it's a, yeah, there it is. There's a little bit of hints of raw apple. No, books fizz. Books fizz. Orange juice. Fizzy. Prosecco. Champagne. Whatever. Whatever you want to put in it, but that's what, yeah, books fizz. Passion fruit and books fizz. Very nice, very nice. Let's say maybe just on the verge of tar for me, just on the, on the level. <coughs> a bit more, I wouldn't be able to take that. But then I'll say sours aren't my, aren't my thing really. So anyway, cloud waters a name for everything. This is the Imperial Passion Fruit Sour. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I buy it again? Probably not. So your sours aren't my bag really, but this is not bad. Would I recommend it to friends? Yeah, absolutely. This is just it's a, it, it is good. It really is good. I um, I'll put a link below to the Cloud Water website. So if it's there and you want to give it a go, excuse me, order one. Excuse me. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. Um subscribe down there thumbs up the video thumbs down if you don't the usual caper and i'll see you all on the next one which will probably be tomorrow hail the ale and happy drinking